Today, we will be testing how good AI is at solving riddles and some logical problems. We will be using the large language model GPT-3 to test this. And I will be tracking how well the AI did perform. Anyway, let's just get so before we start looking at the riddles, let me just go over the rules we have set for this test. So we have about 10, I think there's 10 riddles and it will be increasing in difficulty. The AI will get five attempts on each riddle. So that's going to be like a re-roll. Uh, I'm going to show you this. Uh, the temperature of the model will be set to one to be most creative. And finally, I will be calculating how many percentages of these riddles the AI actually did solve in five attempts. So now let's just go over to GPT-3 and start looking at some riddles. Okay, so now we are in GPT-3 and let me just uh, read up what I have written here. So I have told the model, you are a riddle solving expert that knows all about riddles and logical math problems. Answer the following riddle. So I think we just start with the first one I found. So that is who is that with a neck and no head? Two arms, no hands. What is it? So let's see. So this is going to be like the first reroll. Okay, so the answer to this riddle is a shirt. That is correct. So that's uh, first time, first answer, correct. Okay, so this might be more of a logical problem than a riddle. So. The ages of a father and son adds up to 66. The father's age is the son's age reversed. How old should they be? Three possible solutions. So let's see what the AI found out here. The father could be 36, the son could be 30, 39 and 27, 51 and 15. Okay, so let me just check up the answers. Okay, so the answers was 15 and 15, 42 and 24, 60 and 06. So I guess it got one correct. So I guess I have to give it this answer correct. It was strange that it got two wrongs. So, but it got one right. So I guess this is a pass too. So for the third riddle, we have what flattens all mountains, wipes out all species, destroys every building, and turns everything into pieces. So let's see. The answer to this riddle is time. Yes, that is correct. So I guess that's three out of three so far. Not bad. Okay, so the next riddle we have is what was never scared but became petrified? Can't make a bird, but can make a bat. Can't live in a house, but would die to have one. What is it? Let's see. Yeah, that is correct. I guess this was kind of easy. So a three was correct. So I guess that's four out of four. Okay, so the fifth one we have is I'll be a bit surprised if it uh, gets this because uh, let me just read it up. You see a boat filled with people it has not sunk but when you look again you don't see a single person on the boat why so i know the answer to this it's a bit strange but i'd be very surprised if it nails this okay so let's go the boat is filled with people brothers and sisters They're in the same color clothes mm, no that's not it Okay, so that was one reroll. So this is the second one. There's a hole in the boat. Mm -mm. The people of boat have gone below deck. No, I don't think it gets this one. Because it's a bit clever. The boat was filled with fish, so that's the fourth reroll. So I got one last chance. The people got off the boat. No. It didn't get this, but it's a bit let me see if I change this to a uh, capital S. No, I don't think that changes anything. Let's try now. No. Okay, so this is a bit tricky because I guess it doesn't understand like... So the clue here is single. 
So the answer is that everyone on the boat were married. You get it? So single has like a double meaning. I knew this kind of would understand this. No. So that's the first wrong, I guess. Okay, let's move on to the sixth riddle. So Lily is a lily pad in a small pond. Lily double her size each day. On the 20th day, she covers the whole pond. On what day was Lily half the size of the pond? This is again more of a logical problem, I guess, than a riddle. So I don't know how good this is going to be at this, but let's see. On the 10th day, nope. That's not right. 10th day, nope. Yes, that is correct, actually. Okay, so that was not bad. Um, let me just uh, give you the answer here. So the answer is day 19. It's not 10, like she tried, like the GPT tried two first attempts. Because on day 20, she doubled from day 19. So 19 must be half the size of the pond. You get it? Okay, so that was kind of impressive. Um. So I guess that was correct then. So it has 5 out of 6 down. Okay, so the 7th I would say is more of a riddle. Uh, it says, I am an 8th letter word. I am a kept secret from everyone. My 2nd, 3rd and 4th letter spells an animal. My 4th, 5th and 6th and 7th and 8th letter is a weapon. My 1st, 2nd and 8th letter is used for writing an exam. My 3rd and 4th letters are the same. Who am I? Okay, so this is a riddle, I guess. So let's see. Examiner. Nope, that's wrong. Reroll, number two. Examination. Nope. Example. Nope. Okay, so we got two more attempts. I'm a blackboard. No. Nope. Examiner. Okay, so this is the last attempt. I kind of thought it would get this, but maybe it's too... Examination. Nope. That was a fail. The answer is password. So, like, it's a sword. It's, yeah, you get it. I'm a kept secret from anyone. So, that was a fail. So, I guess we now have five out of seven, correct? Okay, so number eight, I would also say it's a riddle. So, let me just read it out. I am the black child of a white father, like a wingless bird flying even through the clouds of heaven. I give birth to tears of mourning in pupils that meet me, even though there's no cause for grief. On my birth, I am dissolved into air. What am I? I think I remember the answer to this. So let's go. You are smoke. Yeah, that's correct. Maybe that was too easy. I don't know. But okay. First time. First. Uh, first time. Correct. So that's now six out of eight. So the next one, I'm I'm not sure if this qualifies as a riddle, but anyway, let's just read it out. A woman was in court for killing her husband. She said that she wasn't guilty and that she dearly missed him. In the closing statement, the woman's lawyer stands up and says, Her husband was just missing. Everyone looked at the doors. He's going to walk through them in about 30 seconds. The entire Yuri stares at the doors waiting for this woman's husband to walk back through the doors. The lawyer and the woman stare at the jury. The lawyer concludes by saying, See, if you were so sure she killed her husband, you wouldn't have watched be watching that door. The jury then immediately gave the guilty verdict. Why? Okay, so... I, I don't really remember the answer to this, but... Um, 
let me check that out okay so here i think we have to look at the answer before we ask gpt3 what it thinks so the answer here is the woman was watching the jury and not the doors because she knew that her husband wouldn't walk through them because she had killed him if she has if she has really missed him like she said she would have been watching the doors okay so i guess the answer here is what we gotta look out for is uh, like the GPT has to say that she would have been watching the doors if she was telling the truth okay so let's see if we can get that answer here okay or that go The jury saw through the lawyer's ploy. The woman has found this one good to be dead. No, that's not what we're looking for. That she would have been staring at the door. The woman was lying and her husband wasn't missing. He was dead. The jury knew this because if he was truly missing, they would have been looking for him. They would have been looking for him instead of watching the door. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> what? Oh god. Okay, that's second. Okay, so the woman husband was the missing, but the jury didn't know. The jury assumed that the woman was dead. She was guilty. The lawyer's statement was a way of tricking the jury into realize that they have assumed something. No, nope. remember we are looking for that she would have been watching the door if she was uh, not guilty. The jury gave a guilty verdict because the woman's lawyer was trying to suggest that her husband was still alive, which means that he must have killed him. Oh god. No, okay, final time. The reason the jury gave the guilty verdict is because they were expecting the husband to walk through the door. Oh, which would have meant that the woman was lying about being dead. No, that was horrible. Okay, so that was a big fail, I guess. But it was really complicated. Funny answers, though. Okay, so that was wrong. So I guess we only have one left then. Okay, so the final one is quite an interesting one I actually found on Reddit. Uh, okay, so here it goes. Michael is a 31-year-old man from America. He is at that famous, really famous museum in France, looking at its most famous painting. However, the artist who made this painting just makes Michael think of his favorite cartoon character from his childhood. What was the country of origin of the thing that the cartoon character usually holds in his hand? Okay, so I did a quick poll on this yesterday. Very small sample size, but 38% answered Japan. 25% USA, 25% Italy, and 13% France. So, I guess it's skewed towards Japan. So, let's see what the AI thinks about this one. I can't really... Okay, let's just try it. France? Nope, that's wrong. That was roll number one. America, no. America, nope. That's third. So just these parameters. Twist. There's not enough information. That's not good enough. What do you mean? There is. Okay, so I guess it just gave up then. But we are gonna dissect this because I have a... Nope. It didn't get this. So we are gonna dissect this now. I think I found a way to do it. So let's just do that before we reveal the answer. So how we're gonna dissect this is I have prepared a lot of questions about this riddle. So... 
The first one goes, what is a really famous museum in France? Yeah, that's correct, the Louvre. And what is his most famous painting? The Mona Lisa, correct. Who is the artist? Leonardo da Vinci, correct. What cartoon character name is Leonardo da Vinci? The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, yes. What does Leonardo usually hold in his hand? A sword? What kind of sword? A katana? And then it, what is the origin country of a katana? Japan. So the answer was Japan. You see, when we did it like this, it kind of got it, but I guess it didn't from just this. Maybe if we worded it out differently, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun, actually. So it was very interesting testing AI's logical skills. Uh, check out this video if you want to know more about how you can use GPT-3 for more practical things. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you again.